Okay, so let's uh, make a motion to um, to uh, begin the meeting. It looks like it's 7:12 uh, p.m. Uh, there will be no pledge of allegiance, unfortunately. And do we have any motions regarding Mr. Chair, uh, public Mr. Chair, I, I'd like to move that the board just came out of non-public and to seal the minutes until such a time the board feels it is no longer prudent or necessary. Second. Second. Seconded by Charlie. Any discussion? Let's go around. Kate, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Larry? Aye. Aye. Lisa? Aye. Aye. Charlie? Aye. Aye. And Matt's and I, so that one's unanimous. Okay. Um, the, I believe the first one on the agenda is the sprinkler system update. Yes. Um, so I spoke with Mike, um, and basically he has one out of three quotes for the tank, and he's still waiting for two more. Uh, what's happening is that a lot of the places don't have anybody working, so that's what's taking so long. Okay. <laughs> so... Um, Obviously, it's this whole COVID-19 thing that's affecting everybody. So is, is that the only update from him then, is that he's still waiting? Correct. Correct. Okay. So he said how many? He's got one out of three quotes? Correct. Correct. And is he doing three because that's our policy? We get three quotes for everything? I believe that's what he's doing. think about that do we want to run with one quote or I mean we don't have the quote in front of us right now but do we want to tell him given the situation we can dispense with the uh, three quote rule I'd have to see the quote before I agree to that yeah me too yeah and, and we don't have his don't request have to do so either mm -hmm. okay so Diane could you relay that to him so you want to see the quote that he has? Well, see, the first of all, we want to explain to him that if if he thinks it'll be more expedient for the board to essentially don't tell him not to worry about the three quote rule, then we need to see the quote that he currently has. You know? Okay. Okay. Yep. Any other input on this topic? Well, it's not so much to see the quote, but also to know his opinion on where it falls in line with expectation. Yeah, exactly. All right. Anything else for this topic? All right. Uh, I don't have the agenda in front of me at this second. What was the next agenda? Item? The Chief Jewett. I want to talk about his new cruiser. All right, so Chief Hewitt, you can take it away with that one. All right. Thank you, Board. Uh, Mike Hewitt, Police Chief. Um, just wanted to, to run, run a, a thought through the Board. Um, when we did our vote in March, uh, the PD was awarded um, a budgetary line item for a new cruiser for 2020. Um, I've reached out to one of the vendors. Uh, that we've used in the past, and the vendor had told me that the new uh, 2020 SUVs are backordered. Um, they were having some issues with the body fit this year. They've changed the body design a little bit, and they were waiting on parts. Um, and this time of year, everybody orders, well, PDs order their cars, uh, so there was a backlog in that. When I was talking to the salesman for um, the dealership, he had, said, he had asked me if I had ever given any consideration to doing a, a pickup truck. Um, so he had explained the, the cost, and, you know, it's, it's a 2020, 2020 Ford F-150 uh, pickup is what uh, they, they wanted us to look into. Um, the build time is about 10 weeks faster um, on the pickup truck because they have them in stock. Um, the PD over the last few years has been in need of a pickup truck on several occasions. 
Um, right now we drive the Chevy Impalas for the most part. We do have some of the Ford SUVs. Um, with the cages in them, that makes the back of them very small. So if you're even picking up a bicycle or, you know, it could be anything that we could be picking up on the side of the road or going to a residence and picking up, we really don't have the room for it. Um, one of the other issues that we've run into over the years um, is we have a trailer that houses all of our traffic cones and barricades, um, and we can't pull them with the Chevys, so I put trailer hitches on two of our SUVs, um, and the trailer is too heavy for the SUV. I tried driving it around the parking lot and bought them the cruiser out uh, in the parking lot with the weight. Uh, so it makes it so we have to borrow a truck or we have to use, you know, a personal truck or borrow one from someone else to, to move our stuff around for firearms and just to put traffic cones and barricades out. Um, so I, what I'm looking for is, I guess, the board's permission to go ahead and if we can order the pickup truck. Um, and when I say pickup truck, I'm sure people say, you know, what do they need, you know, a pickup truck, you know, other than the reasons I explained. But this is... It's Ford's version of a pursuit-rated truck, so it's not like a plow truck. I'm not going to be able to put a plow on it. Uh, it's not a heavy-duty truck. Um, it's something that is a light-duty police vehicle. It's a six-cylinder, um, so it's not a V8. Uh, it stays in line with the other six cylinders we have. I believe it's very similar motor to what's inside the SUVs. Um, the cost is the same as a 2020 hybrid, uh, which I think was about $2,000 more than a regular gas. Um, but where the pickup truck, I'm going to try to use some of the parts that we have, um, and we'll try to outfit it to, to make that cost saving so it equals out to the same, if that's something the board would allow me to do. Chief, is that a four-wheel drive? Yes, it is. Yeah, so a four-door, four four-wheel drive, it's got a split bed on it. Wait, it's not a hybrid. That was the other vehicle you were discussing, right? Not the truck. So, yeah, no, they don't I have a didn't hybrid didn't understand. Yet. Okay, just checking. Yeah, the, the hybrid's not available in the truck yet, but next year I believe that the hybrid will be, they're going to push that one more. Um, I would love to get a hybrid. I'm just not, I want to get the bugs worked out of it uh, before we go ahead and grab one and we have issues with it. Uh, so in the next couple of years, well, I'd like to see us get some hybrids. Chief, did your water article specify? Did, did your water article specify a car, a certain type um, of car? I, I don't have the answer to that. I'd have to look at it. Um, I, I, it I don't. It think wasn't a separate it. Warren article, right? It was just a line right. item in the budget. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And it's for a cruiser. The pickup is going to be a cruiser, essentially, a pursuit vehicle, if you will. It's just it's going to have a bed instead of a trunk. Correct. Yeah, but it's still a different definition. A cruiser is considered a car, not a pickup truck. But yeah, so the same could be said about an SUV. Chief, I have a question. If, 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 can anybody hear me? Yes. Okay. So I think we have that part worked out, right? It's a budget line item, so it's just from his budget, correct? So the definition correct. of what it is, I don't think is of any, any uh, issue here. Kate, did you have something? I was just wondering if both, I, if both were available delivery at the same time. It almost sounds like he would prefer the truck based on needs. I would. Is that true, Chief? Yeah, no. Okay. I, I just want to make sure. The truck. Only, for, only for the fact okay. that we've, we've needed it many Need times it. Uh, and, we, and we haven't had it. Um, so it, it would just be, you know, I'm not going to be looking for uses for it, um, but it's, we could have used it numerous times over and over again. Um, you know, it's it just makes it hard having a, a small back seat uh, to put stuff in, and you know, just it, it would make life a little bit easier having it. Okay, thank you. So I think, yeah, I like your example so of a bicycle. So yeah, I don't think they, they don't quite fit in the back. Can anybody hear me? Yeah. You're yes, real tiny, Mike. Matt. 
Okay. So I don't think we need a motion for this uh, because it's a budget line item. I think the chief is just here to make sure we're all okay with it. So it sounds like we're all okay with it. So are we all set with this uh, agenda item? Yeah, yes, I, I think am. You're gonna be here. Okay. So why don't we... Um, just for the record, man, I'm okay with it. <laughs> okay. So, Chief, if you have nothing else for us, I think you're good to go. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks. Enjoy it. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Don't enjoy it too much. Uh, no. Nope. The, uh, what's the next agenda item, if somebody could help me out? For Brookside Lane, update on maintenance of water filtration system. All right, and I think that's Nancy's. No, actually, I think Diane tried to put me down. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is Diane. I just wanted to let you know that the that the town is responsible for the maintenance on this water filtration system until the water passes, um, you know, inspection. Yes. We test water types. So um, Carolyn got in touch with me and informed me that the water filters need to be changed maybe once, twice a year. Uh, no, either one, one uh, let me see. Every one to two years, the water filters need to be changed, and they are like $800. So I just wanted to bring that attention to the board that we'll have to add that to our budget uh, next year. Every two years. Okay. <laughs> One to two years, right. Depending, well, it depends on if it passes the water filtration, you know, the water testing. Yeah, that's, I understand. Okay. All right. Thank you for that update. What is our, uh, what is our next agenda item? Digitizing tax map. Okay. So In that, the, uh, go ahead, Diane. Just so you know, we do have on the line representatives from Ty and Vaughn. And CAI Technologies. Oh, and CAI, sorry. If I'm wrong, the reason for having this on the agenda tonight was if we had any more questions for the vendors, right? Because I think we need to discuss our selection in a non-public meeting. Am I correct in my statements? I believe that's correct. Okay, so uh, we do have a rep from Ty and Bond. Does anybody uh, off the top of their head have they any questions since last we met with them, last we received data from them? I do have one. Uh, is there any way to get a sample of what we would get? And I'm just, I totally don't know what I'm talking about. I just wanted to see if there's, we could take a sample of what we have and ask for them to give us a sample back. Didn't we see like web page? I thought we saw that. So I'm asking the vendor, uh, Diane, you said the vendor was on? Yeah, I think he's still on. Let me check. Yeah, yeah, Nat, yeah I'm on. I, I, yeah, I was on mute, so. Um, okay. So, so for a sample, um, we provided from the, you know, when the product is finished and we uh, host a website, um, we, I provided, you know, a few different links to different sites for you to look at. I don't know if you had a chance to look at that. Um, if, I guess there's something further, if you were looking for us to, like, perform some of the conversion, like a small sample of it, for you to review as, like, a pilot or something, I'm, I'm just trying to understand. That's, that's, that's exactly right. That's essentially what I'm saying. I, I don't want to use the word pilot because that sounds very Rod, I'm talking about just a small sample, if we could do something like that. Not to, not to make you guys invest any more than you need to for our decision making, but I'm talking about can we have a small sample? 
Um, yeah, I think that's something we could do. Obviously, we'd, we'd invest some time in doing that. We would take a, maybe a portion of one of your tax maps and, you know, perform the data development that would be required to, uh, you know, to, to finalize it for, like, a, a portion of the tax map. You have 17 tax maps for the for the whole town. Um, so if we were to take a look at a portion of one of them, if that's if that's satisfactory, you know, without doing a whole tax map. Yeah, exactly. What is what is the yeah. rest of the board think? I want to make sure I'm not the only one who's thinking this way. Do they think it's a good idea? Um, yeah. I do. Kate here, I actually saw some samples, or at least, you know, you sent us links to what a site looked like. I can't remember what town it was, another town, each of you. I was just curious if you could ever alter layout, because they both were different, how they were navigable, the ones I saw. Are they ever, is the layout ever changeable, or that's, that's it? Yes, from, uh, I'm, I'll just speak from Time Bond's perspective. Like the roll down um, menu and stuff like that to make it. Oh, on the website, okay. Um, the uh, the format is pretty set. It's you know we host okay. those websites for many many communities, so we can make it cost effective by having by not you know customizing the layout of it um, okay. beyond colors and things like that to kind of match your website. So okay. that's all. Uh, so, it's not a yeah, we don't rewrite it each time. You're right. Um, okay. Yeah. I, what, I, Thank you. So from the layout, you're talking about the website, the layout of the actual tax map format, that's another thing. We provided samples of those, and those are totally customizable to the, to the town. You know, we would I know there was a to, floating, yeah. I recall a floating menu on the left that confused me a little, but then I got the hang of it. I think that was pretty sure it was you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I do have Great. one more request for both. Vendors, um, I, I would like to know if you could provide the board with three to five towns that you have done tax map conversions for. You, not, you don't have to do it in public. You can send the information to our secretary in email. But I, I just like to essentially get some references, if you will, of your work converting tax maps. Not a, not a problem. Yeah, this is Franco Rossi. Uh, we, uh, you're looking for some examples. We didn't really propose just doing a conversion. We actually proposed recompiling everything. So I would send you references on towns that we actually, it wasn't just a conversion. It was a, actually a recompilation of a Paris. Okay, and can you um, explain again, just in short terms, what a recompilation is? Yeah, so re w the, way, the way we would recompile, um, again, when we, when we met before, um, this is not, we aren't doing record research as if we were doing a whole new mapping project. However, <clears throat> using the data that are available from your maps, rather than simply convert the data and line up roads, we would use the dimensions to actually re replot the parcels through the whole process, um, not rather than just, again, line up physical evidence and line up roads. Right, and, and I'm just looking for um, three to five pounds that you have done that work for. Yes. Yep. Who should I send those to? Send those to? Diane. 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 Okay. So, does the board have any other um, questions? Uh, so we can. <laughs> I have a real quick one. I'm sorry. Go, Kate. For Ty and Bond, I recall asking the recompiling question, and I thought your estimate sort of does the same thing. Am I correct or incorrect? Sorry, I put myself on mute. Um, th that's yeah. I. I um, I think when we spoke, I, we didn't exactly use that term. I'm not sure of that term, but um, that's the that's the process that we that we follow is taking the information, dimensions, and everything on the on the tax maps, 
again, not, not from pulling the beads and pulling surveys and you know, adjusting the parcels to, to match um, you know, the information that's provided on the tax maps and what looks evidence on the ground. So that is different from what the other? No, that's the same. The, that's, that's the same. same. The yeah. same. That's what I want to make clear. Okay, thank you. That's all. All right. So I think we have what we need. Do you have any questions for us from the Italian boss? Uh, no, we can, if, uh, we'll, we'll get you the references in a, in, in a day. That's not a problem. Um, you, you asked me the question though, about doing a sample. Are you going to hold off on asking us to do that? Or? So I, I think my answer is please proceed. Does the board agree with me? Second, concur. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. All right, so it sounds like we have at least a quorum, so if you could proceed. And as I said, just a small sample, like you described, um, yep. would, would help us out a lot. Are okay. you, are you are asking we, that of both of us or just Kai and Bond? Uh, probably both, I would think. I didn't realize mm -hmm. we had both on. Is it okay? Uh, I could simply send you samples of projects that we have already completed. Is it, would that meet your needs? Uh, projects for us that you've completed? No, pro towns that we have completed this project, this process for. Um, we could send you samples of those. Are you the one that did the uh, out of Jaffrey? Excuse me? No, that's... That's yes. tie in We did we did map Jaffrey. No, we mapped Jaffrey. Okay. Right, oh. so I saw C that. CAI C A I mapped Jaffrey. If if I if I can yeah, jump in this is Nat from Time Bond, um, just for clarification to be there because there was some confusion, I was asked the question that that C A I has been um, mapped the town of Jaffrey and provides annual parcel updates. Um, but uh, Time Bond provides other GIS services to the town, and, and we do the public hosting. So I think that might have confused perhaps some members. Okay. We're both working. We don't work together, but um, uh, CAI provides the services to the assessor to, to do the tax maps and keep the parcel GIS up to date. Um, but Jaffrey, uh, you know, selected, they have us do the, the public website hosting, and that's, um, most of the communities that we uh, host the uh, um, do website hosting, you know, most of them were also doing the parcel updates. But there are situations where we're doing hosting and somebody else is doing the, the, the parcel updates. So just in case anybody else was confused about that, because I was asked a question um, last week, which I responded to in an email. Okay, yeah, I think... What I was about to say is um, my decision-making, only speaking for myself, my decision-making would, uh, would be strengthened by having a sample of our own tax maps and what they would look like through the process is kind of what I was saying. So if, if, I, if I were either, uh, either vendor in the proposal, that's what I'd ask for. And again, I don't know... I don't know what your investment in time would be like this. We're not looking for a huge investment in time, just a small sample. Okay, um, from time bond, that's fine with us. We could we would certainly be able to do a small sample for you. Um, okay. All okay. Right. okay. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we thank you guys very much for coming tonight, and we'll, uh, we'll look forward to seeing that from you guys, and then we'll try to get you an answer very quickly after that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank right. you, Sam. Thank you. Thanks. And uh, right. what do we have next on the agenda, please? Memorial Day Parade. All right, so I'm going to keep... Yeah, I'm going to give you this this really quick. 
Uh, I'm just looking for support in concept of this idea. I really don't want to talk about details or what we need to do because all the details have not been worked out. I'm sure we'll work it out. We'll talk to the board. Uh, from a concept standpoint, we're, we're not going to have a Memorial Day parade like we're used to. However, I don't want to let the day go by without recognizing uh, veterans, especially those veterans who have, have passed away in service to our country, to where the Rec Commission has come up with two, I two ideas we can do simultaneously. First idea is a small video tribute from, with uh, any pictures. We're going to solicit the residents to provide pictures of former, current veterans and their family. We're going to put it on a video, put it on cable, put it on YouTube, Facebook, website, whatever. Uh, that'll be a tribute. We can also have a message from the board in there if you like. The other one is Love it. Day, of, day of on Memorial Day, what we'd like to do, and I've talked to the two chiefs and Mike Favero about this, we would do a vehicle, a limited vehicle-only parade through town. And when I say through town, we're not doing the Santa Parade for 14 hours. We're doing a, about a 40-minute to 60-minute normal parade route with an extension really through main roads. So that would be at the normal time of our parade so that people can hear the sirens. If they want to come out on their front lawn and you know wave or whatever, they can certainly do that. But so... Strictly from a concept standpoint, is the board okay with this idea? Love it. I am. Love it. I am. <laughs> okay, great. And so, Matt, just one thing. Uh, Matt, go, Larry. One thing on the uh, attorney's call today, they had mentioned that Memorial Day parades uh, with motor vehicles. The only thing they're suggesting that towns do not do is to stop in front of the cemetery and salute because that would uh, be against the social dis distancing uh, six foot rule. So yeah, that's, favor that's the a parade. So yeah, that's favor a the really good point. Foot. So great, that's a really good point. We're going to make sure we don't do that. We typically what we do anyway is a pass in review. So we salute the cemetery as we go by. So that's probably what we'll do. I think that's a good point, Larry. Um, anything else people thinking of in the Memorial Day space? More details to come, obviously. All right, so uh, can I do this? I'm going to make a motion to uh, announce to the public that the traditional Memorial Day Parade for, I believe it's May 25th, will be canceled in favor of a socially distant vehicle parade. Can I get a second? Second. 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 Okay, that was Larry. I got a second second from Charlie. So I'm going to assume yep. Charlie's in favor. Larry? Yep. Aye. Yep. Aye. Uh, Kate? I, but I hope you'll use the word replaced rather than canceled. Okay. Uh, Lisa? Aye. Aye. And Matt's and I. So, Diane, I'm accepting that amendment uh, that the board's going to replace. That makes okay. sense? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. So that's it for that agenda item. What is next, please? I will make a motion to accept and expend unanticipated funds to the food pantry from Susan Logue, a donor, in the amount of $100 per RSA 31 colon 95-B. Okay, can we get second. a second, please? Second. 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 Let's go. Let's go around. Kate, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Uh, Lisa? Aye. Aye. Larry? Aye. Aye. Charlie. Aye. Aye. Matt and I, so we thank them for their generosity. Much appreciated. Uh, what is next? 
to manifest. Does anyone else have the other document open to make them, or should I go ahead? I think go ahead. Yeah, sorry, I don't have it. Signed vendor right manifest dated May 5, 2020, in the amount of one million twenty-one thousand seven hundred thirty-three dollars and ten cents, of which seven hundred seventy-seven thousand eight hundred and seventy-eight dollars goes towards the May Sanborn Regional School District payment, and sixty-nine thousand one dollar and ninety-two cents goes towards the new fire truck lease. Second. Can I get a second? All right, Second. there was no discount. Second. We did not get a discount quite clearly this month from Yeah, Sam. there's no yeah. discount. There's no scoop. <laughs> I know, exactly. I know. <laughs> All right, let's go around. Larry, how do you vote? I vote yes. Okay, Kate, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Charlie? Aye. Aye. Lisa? Aye. Aye. Matt's and I, that's unanimous. I move to sign payroll manifest for pay period April 12 through 25, 2020, with a pay date of April 30, 2020. Second. Second. Seconded by Charlie. Let's go around. Larry, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Kate, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Uh, Lisa, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Uh, did I ask Charlie already? Nope, but I say hi. <laughs> awesome. And Matt's and I, so that's you, Nana. All right, I now move to sign intent to cut timber for tax map 14-1-27-3. Can we get a second on that? Second. Second. Seconded by Kate. Is there any discussion? Okay, let's go around the horn. Larry, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Kate, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Charlie? Aye. Aye. Lisa? Aye. Aye. And Matt's and I, so that one's unanimous. I think there's another one, right? Yep, I move to sign Neil tax bill for tax map 14-1-27-3 which happens Second. to be the same property. <laughs> okay. Seconded by Charlie. Uh, let's go around. Lisa, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Uh, Larry. Aye. Kate. Aye. Aye. Charlie. Aye. Aye. Matt and I, that one's unanimous. And then the last one, I move to sign yield tax bill for tax map 4-6-3-7 and 4-6-3-8. A second. Second. There is second up, seconded by Charlie. Let's go around. Larry, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Uh, Kate, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Charlie, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Lisa? Aye. Aye. Matt and I, so that's <laughs> unanimous. And that was it on your list, right? Correct. All right. I believe we're under other now, right? That was other. That was other. Yep. Well, yeah, but the real other. Um, <laughs> so anybody have anything else for us tonight? All right, I'm, I'm going to say, as I did two weeks ago, uh, everybody's doing a really good job here in town. This has been a tough few, we're, we're almost two months into this, um, and everybody's doing a great job. I believe I speak for the board when I say that, and I speak for the board when I say we're paying close attention to what the governor's either doing or suggesting and any sort of opening we do is probably going to be informed by uh, his guidelines. And it's nice to see uh, in the next couple of weeks we're going to have a, a, uh, a lessening, and there's a lot of information coming fast and furious, and we're having these extra uh, COVID-19 meetings still on Mondays and Wednesdays. The public can always join that, those 
agendas are posted. So other than that, just keep on keeping on doing what you're doing, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll all be uh, in a little better position very shortly. So anybody from the board want to add anything? Uh, yeah, actually, I do, Matt. Yeah, actually, I do, Matt. Go ahead. All right. At uh, our at previous a, meeting, our we were discussing the transfer station employees wearing masks and whether or not the Board of Selectmen had decided that they should do so. And it was confirmed in the previous meetings that that was the Board's directive. So I would like us to uh, remind the transfer station uh, manager and the employees that they should be wearing masks and gloves while working. Okay, I hate to say this, but is, does anybody want to reverse that uh, that decision? Not yeah, Matt. I. Matt, I talked to Jack and Peter over the weekend when I brought them supplies, and yep. this distance is more than six feet from the customer. If they go up to the resident, they will put the mask on, but they feel... Um, that under their supervision that they know when to put them on and when not to put them on because they're they're in the building anyway. So, I, But it's I not just talking. with the public. It's with themselves as well. Well, they're not together, though. One's in one building, one's in the other building. <laughs> well, they should definitely be wearing it when handling garbage. Yeah, I'm, uh, so I will tell you this. This is just me talking. My um, my taste for debating masks in town, I've just about done enough of it in my life. It's a few hours I can't get back now. So um, I just, I think we talked about this to death last week. And I think what Lisa's referring to was an early meeting, right? That was probably the March 17th meeting. Is that correct? Correct. When the decision was made. Yeah. I would, I would just say, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't feel like spending another 20 minutes of my life debating masks. I think every other town is requiring employees to wear masks while at work. And I think, uh, New Hampshire is the only state that I've heard of so far that doesn't require all residents to have them. However, uh, many stores do require it. So I'm going to leave it at that. Unless somebody has some groundbreaking uh, different perspective, then I think we should just abandon the subject. But go ahead and speak up if anybody want, wants to. I think it's yeah. abandoned. So, yeah, I think it is. So, I second um, abandonment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, are you all right with that, Lisa? I mean, the yeah, I, I'm I just read, it stands. Is the board reversing their decision? No. No. Thank you. That I'm good with that. Good. All right. Anything else for tonight? Yes, you have minutes. Yes, so I will move to approve public meeting minutes dated April 22nd, April 27th, and April 29th, 2020. Second. Get a seconded by Charlie. Uh, let's go around the room. Kate, how do you vote? Aye. Aye. Uh, Lisa? Aye. Larry? Aye. Uh, Charlie? Aye. Uh, Matt and I, so that one's unanimous. There, were there, we got the other minutes, right? That's all the minutes that I have. That's all the minutes that I have. Okay, great. All right, anybody want to make a motion to adjourn? I move oh. to adjourn at 7.52 p.m. Excellent. No, uh, nobody wants to stay in the meeting, right? No. I didn't think so. So everybody have a good night.
we'll all be back together tomorrow night at 6 for the COVID-19 response <laughs> call. But uh, best wishes to everyone. Have, have a good okay, night. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>